Almost 16 years after a train slammed into her car, a mother is coming together for Colorado to give back to Douglas County High School students. Missy Martin won a lawsuit against Union Pacific Railroad after a train slammed into her car in Castle Rock back in 2002. She was in a coma for five weeks. I'm Britt Marino. We're catching you up on this story. Eight years later, she set up a scholarship fund for Douglas County High School students. Our Tori Mason is sharing the good news about this coming together for Colorado story and she is live for us in Castle Rock and Tori I understand you were at the presentation this morning what was it like Oh, Brent, Missy's spirit was so contagious. You can just tell she's someone who got a second chance at life, and she's grateful for every minute of it. Now, if you ask anyone who was around here at the time of that accident, they could tell you about it like it was yesterday. It made a lasting impact on this community. Now she's trying to change the way people see that day by changing her past into something more positive. Now, Missy is using the settlement she won from the railroad company to give scholarships to students overcoming their own obstacles. This year, her foundation awarded eight students from Douglas County Schools $1,000 to use toward their futures. Among them were students paralyzed in car accidents, students with rare medical conditions, students working to support their families, and students who recently lost family. Through their adversity, they continued to excel and stay active in the community. An administrator put it best, life has taken so much from them, their first instinct is to give back. And the same goes for Missy. She didn't get to where she is today by herself, and now she says it's her turn to help others. All I wanted to do was I wanted to be a nurse so I could help people. You know, I wanted that I didn't go very far. So my dad and I came up with, you know, we should do this. And I would love to do this. And amongst the years, it just keeps growing and growing. And I love it. With all our medical bills and my dad not having a job right now, it's kind of hard to, you know, get all the college books and room and everything. So it'll really help out with all the fees and everything and tuition. Now, Taylor's mother recently passed away, and with her father in between jobs, she actually picked up a part-time gig during her senior year to help out around the house. She says she's planning on going to CSU. Now, since Missy began her foundation in 2010, she has given over $50,000 in scholarships to students like Taylor. We're live in Douglas County, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. She is making a difference, and hopefully those kids will one day make a difference in our community as well. Tori, thank you for that.